So a few days ago, Arena Breakout tweeted out saying on May the 9th, we will be rolling out a new closed beta test update with new features. This update will require a data wipe, but will offer compensation to the existing players to ensure the best possible experience. So if you guys are actually currently playing in the closed beta test that was a few weeks ago, which closed down, I believe last week, then you will be compensated just like myself. Now, the new closed beta is a global beta with more players to be activated. It is global this time, so you can pre-register on their website right now, and I'll leave that link in the description down below. And iOS beta, so additional redeem code. So if you are creators and you make content, it is calling out to you to basically sign up. You will be able to get access to the limited iOS closed beta as well. Now, moving forwards, then the global beta updates get ready for a new version with free item bundles. So matchmaking is unavailable, which is May the 8th, okay? But then the servers will turn on on May the 9th and the new version launch will launch at 10 o'clock in the morning, UTC plus zero. So that is going to be the closed beta test, okay? It's a closed beta, but it's a global beta. Now, a lot of you probably wondering, oh, well, I don't want to play a closed beta and I'm probably not going to get accepted. Well, you most likely will because they're accepting a lot of players, a lot more players than they did in the first closed beta, well, the first two closed betas, actually. Now, there are some fantastic brand new features within the game, which I want to talk about in today's video as well. So after the update, all progress will be deleted, all data will be deleted, including account level, mission progress, all of your money and items, your bonds, membership, safe and keychains, extra storage, and all personal information. Now, along with this, perks for returners, ladies and gents. It all depends on your storage value. So if you're a new player, don't panic. Don't just ignore this part of the video. But if you have been playing the closed beta, you will be compensated the amount shown on screen right here. And here is another image as well, stating how much you will be able to get as well when it comes to level rewards, along with returner rewards as well. Now, we also have the trophy room and rank store as well, which is a brand new feature. We've also got new female characters that have been added. Now, a lot of you probably like, well, female characters. I don't care. Well, a lot of people do care. So female characters are on there. And by the way, I will definitely be playing one myself. Smaller hitboxes, ladies and gents. Thousand IQ. Along with that, new weapons. We got the M24 bolt action rifle. We've got the SPR 310 shotgun. We also have a SVTU carbine. And we also have an F57 pistol. Along with the new features, we also get the kill cam feature, which was highly requested within the Los Angeles event that they flew myself and other creators across to. We begged them for kill cams because there's numerous times you get killed and most likely you're going to probably call them a hacker. But most of the time, they're led down in a bush and they one tapped you with some level five ammunition. But now we have kill cams. So you can pinpoint those players and see if they are cheating, but also you can learn new strats from kill cams. A lot of people don't realize that dying isn't always a negative thing. Learn new ways to avoid dying. And on top of that, you have to see what people's loadouts are and what they're rocking and how they killed you so fast. Now, I am definitely not going to be reading all this, but you can pause the video to read through it. But this is the global beta updates. There is so much information on this list. I'm, as I said, I'm not going to go through it. But whoever wrote all this, I need to give them props. But there's at least over like 60 changes, adjustments, feature updates, buffs, nerfs. There's so much. Like down to the fact that they've added ladder animation. So now you can actually climb up ladders and, and just crazy stuff like that. This game is going wild. They are going extremely in depth with all of the details and with all these buffs and nerfs, I find that absolutely crazy. But again, if you want to read this, just pause it because I'm not going to go over it at all. <laughs> There's way too much. Now, we are going to be reacting to Said, the biggest content creator when it comes to skill, when it comes to daily uploads. And this dude is just on point. So if you haven't checked him out, his link is in the description down below. This guy is a absolute beast and you guys are definitely going to be learning a thing or two in this video. So drop a like and subscribe and without further ado, let's react to Sade's gameplay. So it looks like Sade as he is Said, the man of the game, is playing on Armory, one of the hardest maps on the game. But this video is actually kind of funny because he only uses a pistol and straight off the bat he's missing quite a few bullets but he does get the kill! It doesn't matter and there's a what is that other guy doing? Oh, these must be scavs. Yeah, they're, they're scavs. Never mind. I was going to say, like, those guys didn't look real to me. 
But anyways, so by the way, scavs are bots, and then real players are the ones that pretty much are geared up. But aren't, uh, like this dude, he just chucked the nade in, and he just got obliterated by this pistol. By the way, this is the Glock 18 pistol, semi-automatic pistol. And it seems as if that guy's teammates is on their way to the D. There we go. Sage is shooting legs. Absolutely obliterating legs right now. There's no way he, he, he makes out Armory alive with a pistol. But yeah, the one thing I love about Sade is that it's just raw gameplay. You learn a lot from it. You, you don't, you can just relax while watching him. Oh my lord. So there's a reason he's shooting legs, by the way, and he just got killed. So he's shooting their legs mainly probably down to the fact that these guys have like insane armor. So shooting them in the chest will just kind of do nothing, really. Well, it will, but... Anyways, here's some more scavs. So he's in the same spot again. Looting in the same place as well. The garage area. But there's a second scav right now. Another scav coming in. Lovely jubbly. So it looks like he's rocking the laser here on the Glock. All right, we got some shots going, and I want to—I want to see him absolutely obliterate more people. We've seen him get two kills and nearly get that third in the first game. That's another scab. That Rico is crazy. By the way, this is a kind of an old video of his, so he has improved a lot. But I just wanted to kind of just take a look at this game with you guys and kind of just give you feedback on that. There's so much new stuff in the new version. I have played it and I will upload some content of it of my first experience on the, the global beta which you guys will be able to get access to on May the 9th but um, yeah welcome to Armory though this place is full of scavs that have aim bot pretty much but there's always a lot of players that come here because the only way to extract from this map is pretty much downstairs all the other ones are in weird locations which require you to leave your backpack and it's pointless so you're going to go into army and lose a lot of stuff. Well, here we go. So grenades are going in. That's a real player. That's chucking nades in everywhere. Now I want to see what Sade's going to do here. This is one of his shortest videos as well. I did want to pick this one because, you know, this video is quite a long video as it is. But if you guys want me to react to more Sade videos, give this guy a little bit more publicity from my community, then just let me know in the comment section down below. And once again, Sade, thank you for letting me use your video. But uh, let's see your magic here. Let, let's see what you got. Oh, Nade coming in. Beautiful IQ by Sade. Heard him cocking it. Runs away. Because those nades blow up pretty quickly. And believe me, grenades in this game are a man's best friend. They're very expensive too. So if you kill people with a lot of nades, um, make sure that you pick them up. Pretty much. So there's two people actually down, down the bottom here. So as you can see, Sade's actually not moving much. Okay, he's going to move now. Ju and he's going to jump in and shoot that guy. Oh, his teammate's coming in. He needs to get that reload in really quickly. He is right there. Oh, no. Oh, he took the nade. No way. No way. Why did that guy have a sniper in his hands? What? Why? Why would you do that? Let's see what loot these guys had. Well, tips and tricks though from watching this gameplay. Play very passive because the game is very passive, but then aggress when the time is right. So Sade heard these guys cocking grenades and took the opportunity to rush them. Because remember, they're chucking that nade. They can't just not chuck it. They have to chuck it, and these guys are looted up. But when they're chucking the nade, push right to them, because they still got to get their weapon up. So, jeez, man. I want to know how much, uh, how much this, how much Sade's going to get out with this. So that's a scav, by the way. The scavs always spawn in here, down the bottom of armory. And they do annihilate you, by the way. So... But yeah, Glock only video. I know he's using a different weapon here. That's only because he's killing the scavs at the end. But yeah, look at them. They're, they're very overpowered. If you got weak ammo, like, it's pointless. Right, let's take a look at 
I'll, I really want to see how much loot he's got. So he's taking... So check that out as well. So he just dropped his backpack on the extraction. It's very, very good that is to do that because it means that you can run faster. Now he's going to loot up all the other saves. Maybe put all the stuff in his uh, storage box container. So gold bars. Nice. Beautiful. There's another backpack here. But I want to know how much... Well, there, there, there we go. We've got the extraction lever here. So, he's got no backpack on, remember? So, he's just going to be able to run straight back to the extraction really quickly. Kill the scavs. How much loot do you reckon he's got here? I'm going to say 1.2 mil. Maybe 1.3. Looking at the weapons he picked up. And the moment of truth, ladies and gents. 1.2 mil! <laughs> I actually got it... Well, I said 1.3 as well. But, how many people did he kill? One, two, three players, was it? Was that three players? One, two, three, and a lot of bots. Beautifully executed by Said. Make sure you check him out. Link in the description down below. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.